it doesn't always take a really long time to master a new trick. Believe it or not, sometimes you actually have all of the pieces required to take down a certain skill, you just haven't yet put them together. Today is going to be the first in a video series called Quick Trick, where I show you guys a new trick, one that came to me a lot faster than in the other learning video series, and I can show you some variations on how to do it, as well as the pieces that you need to go out and give it a go yourself. Today I'm going to be talking about just such trick, and that is the nose press 180. <laughs> With any new trick, it's always great to have a fresh piece of equipment. So today, I've got some brand new gloves. New gloves always help give you a better grip on your bike. They can help you hop higher, inspire new confidence. Even when Benny brought out the secret weapon, shoes guaranteed to make a kid run faster and jump higher. No, not really any of those. But they do definitely help you get stoked. All right, let's give this a go. I think of the nose press 180 in three different steps. The very first thing you have to do is get comfortable getting up onto the front of your bike, or the nose, as I call it. For that, you're gonna need to figure out how to use your front brake efficiently, and you're gonna need to learn how to balance your body and be comfortable being up on front, which is definitely a different thing. The second piece is that you need to learn how to turn your bike around while up on the 180. To do that, you're gonna to wanna to initiate the turn before you get up onto the nose. And you do that by turning your front wheel and moving your hips to the side. After that, there's only one thing left to do. Roll backwards, fakey for a bit, turn your wheel and straighten yourself back out and you've done it. The nose 180. To add a little bit more style to your nose 180, you can do a hop nose 180 by initiating this trick with a quick English bunny hop. Land on your front wheel and pivot from that, and you're on your way to a more stylish trick. Once you've mastered the hop nose press 180, you can start getting creative with it and put some, throw some variations into your uh, into the mix. All right, so let's give this a shot. It's insane how tiring this stuff can be. And there you have it. Thus concludes our first episode ever of The Quick Trick. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I did. I just love getting out here and learning new tricks and bettering my bike handling skills. As always, this video was about you guys and getting you inspired to get out and work on your skills. So if you're so inclined, go out and practice your nose 180 this week, film it and put it up on Instagram tagging STS skills. And I will pick a couple to feature in the next video. If you guys like this content, make sure to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe. And if you've done both of those, I'll see you next time. Until then, you know what to do. Live free, ride hard, and get stoked.